Hey guys, it's UKS Spy here, and welcome back to another Let's Play video. Um, this is episode 6, and uh, also, I apologize if you can hear like any sound in the background, I just have the air conditioner on because it's really hot here. And maybe you don't hear it and you just think I'm crazy. Anyway, let's get into this episode. Um, it's just going to be uh, random stuff, kind of, I'm going to do cleanup. Actually, I know exactly what I'm going to do because this is the second time I recorded this. I know, well, not really. Actually, the first time I wasn't recording, so it's the second time I've done this. And first time I've recorded. Um, so, yeah. That's why I make backups. Um, at least I know what I'm going to be doing, so it should be less boring because last time I was failing at stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go... Ooh, cactuses this is my garbage dispenser and there's cactus there to destroy the blocks if you ever wondered what that is for but I'm just gonna go into my comments and read some of the questions okay um, da, da, da. one guy asks are you going to be making more custom maps and that's a yes and a no I might be making a completely new one it would be an adventure map and what okay there it is um and uh, that that would be a huge project i still don't think you can mc edit the guy who mc edit it i should say the guy who i got to mc edit said he couldn't do it um but he's trying to work on something a little similar so i'm gonna have to build a lot of it myself so it'll be a very large project project rather and um i don't know if I'm ever going to do that, but it's going to be a huge adventure map and has to do with the end in Minecraft Pocket Edition. That's all I can tell you. Uh, but once the update comes out, I will be doing an update to my survival games for sure. And probably after a couple weeks, um, also my Skycraft Survival. Because my goal with Skycraft Survival is um, to make it the hardest map for Minecraft Pocket Edition. I know when you're making a map for PC... Um, you sh really shouldn't make it as hard as you can because there's spawners and you can just make it so hard it's impossible to play. But it's hard to make things hard in Minecraft Pocket Edition, so it's an achievement if you do make it almost unplayable, but not to quite the point of almost unplayable. And I know once there's diamond tools and stuff, there will be a lot more stuff I can do with traps. If you try and get this diamond tool, TNT blows you up and stuff. And also, it's kind of obvious what I'm going to be doing with my survival games. It's survival games. You need iron swords and stuff. So, that's that's that for uh, custom maps. Not really too long of an explanation. But yeah, I will be maybe doing a new one. But I'll definitely be doing updates to my old one. Old ones. Um, because I don't really want to start all over. That wouldn't be that fun. At least for me. I don't know about you guys. And why don't I have torches? Oh, well, no torches. Okay. Take you. And, uh, oh, I do have torches, and I'm an idiot. Okay. Put you back. Sorry about that. Other questions. Da, 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 da. Um, what seed are you using? I'm using a random seed. If you do want to find out the seed, if you have... If you have IMCP edit, you can just download my map and go into it, and you can look at the seed. Um, it'll say the seed. Um, and I think in the world data part where you can change the time and stuff, I believe it's there, but it's in one of the tabs. You can just check that out if you want, if you need to know the seed. Um, but I don't know the seed offhand because it's just a bunch of random numbers because I didn't use a set seed because I was a noob at the time, and I didn't realize that you should always make a seed. Just for easiness sake, I guess. Another guy asked, why is the sky blue in Minecraft? It's gray, it's not blue. Pay attention next time. More questions. Um, oh yeah, one thing I did want to show you guys is all my storage rooms. Because I know I get a lot, new, a lot of new subscribers. So probably about 100 of you guys don't remember this. So I'm just going to go over it. Um, in this, I have a bunch of legit storage. And then also I have some hacked in wood just because there's no um, uh, saplings. So yeah. 
this is right here you can see this is all legit um, it's actually quite a lot and this is also legit wood here and one guy asks how old are you I said that in a previous let's play so watch all my let's plays to see where I say that and there's a zombie zombily haha <laughs> you didn't get a hit on me um, 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 um I really need a new intro dude <gasps> that's not a question it hurt my feelings my intro is cool um yeah I guess I just keep my intro cuz I get attached to things so yeah this is all my wool supply if you're wondering why I'm aimless aimlessly walking around this room that's why here is all my precious supplies. Also, I have a obsidian supply room that I'll show you after, and I'll explain how I got that. This I all got, I got from a hacked in iron pick that I traded real iron that I collected for, so it wasn't cheating. Got 16 diamonds and 43 gold. I know it's 43 gold because I already did this. I just wasn't recording. Um, do do do. How did I meet Chicken Wing? Um. Uh, I guess I just met him. Like, there's not really anything special. I kind of went on a longer story about what, like, a fort we made when we were younger, but there's no really point of going into that, so I'll just say I met him. <laughs> and then I moved away about five years ago. Um, and yeah, we still get together a lot because we're good friends. Another one is Do you make all your houses in survival? Um,. When I'm making, when I'm in this ma this world, yes, all except for that. Uh, but the reason I I had the supplies, like if you look over there, there's a huge solid tower which I'll actually show you. I had all the supplies, but I didn't have IMCP edit at the time, so I just wanted that so I could use obsidian in it. But that is solid all the way through, and that's just cobblestone that I'm storing, just because I have cobblestone. Um, and then I'll also show you my other two storerooms, and I could also show you the storeroom I'm working on once there's chests, but I haven't worked on that since I heard there wasn't going to be chests in this update, so I haven't been working on that for a while. Um, let's see, two more pages to look through. Uh, are you excited about the new update? Um, yes, I am. I'm a little disappointed that there's not chests, but... What can you do? As long as there's more than furnaces, meaning there's either a new mob, or uh, what else could they add? Online multiplayer. I doubt it will be, but like something besides furnace, that would be cool. So this is all my sad storage room of sandstone. I love sandstone, so that's very sad. And then this is all my legit wood. I got these two from chopping down trees, and these two from the drop glitch. Now, a lot of you probably won't even know the drop glitch, but that was 2.0 or earlier. If you killed someone the first time, like for the first time when they joined an online server, they would drop five of every infinite, um, I mean, finite item. And there's only like ten finite items at the time, so it wasn't much, but that's how you get obsidian, wood, reeds, and stuff like that. Like, reeds were unobtainable. And stuff like that. Hmm, what else is there? Um, do you play MCPE? No, I don't, but I have heard of it. Um, I might decide to get it eventually, but it is seven bucks. And, uh, I don't think I'll be doing a Let's Play on that or anything. But, ooh, I forgot to show you my, uh, unfinished storage room. But, yeah, that looks like a pretty cool, ca cool game. It's kind of like this game right here, but also a lot different at the same time. Uh, do do do. What else? Do you, hey, do you ever read my comments? Well, I'm reading your comment right now, so yes, I do read all my comments. I just don't have a chance to reply to them all because I need to be on the computer to reply, and I don't go on the, on the computer that often, so it, I can read them all on my iPod. I can't reply to them because you can't just, like, go at and then their username. That doesn't do anything. You have to actually hit the reply, and you can only hit that button when you're on the computer, so yeah. That's that. And here's my storage room, and then these would lead off to other rooms. And this is where I spent all my, like, supply of sandstone. Like, look at this. And then, yeah, sandstone behind there. This took a lot. And then there's torches under these. Under the half slabs, that is. That's pretty cool. 
Moving on, I'll show you my supply of obsidian. Okay, um... One thing, I guess, that was kind of the main point of making this is I want to get a pet in Minecraft. Pocket Edition. And I don't know what to choose. I want to choose something that you guys would all like. So, leave in the comments below what kind of animal you want. Chicken, pig, cow, or sheep. And then next episode, um... I'll ask you guys to leave your best names down in the description for that animal that I choose. Um, oh yeah, so here, um, I should show you this. This goes to all over town. I made this for minecarts because there's a rumor that there's supposed to be minecarts in 3.0. But that never happened, so, eh. I got over a couple thousand cobblestone doing that because that goes all over town. And zombie, whoa, that's a lot of zombies. They, it's a lot of zombies. Ooh. Um, but yeah, uh, just leave, um, name of animal that you want me to get, and I'll get one of those for a pet. And next, hey, that rhymed. I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. Okay, and yeah, here's my obsidian. This is just a giant creeper face that, uh, it was a project that I abandoned. But I might take it up again. I don't know. Just to make a giant room and make it like a control center. And all that cool stuff. But yeah, that didn't work out. Okay, that's that's my obsidian. There's like about 100 there. But not too special. I'll want take the pa paths back to my house. So you can just see how cool they really are. Oh, and this is uh, my trap but sadly fall damage and cactus the two things I used on this trap if I fall I lose everything just telling you that right now uh, so yeah that's right below my spawn point and when people spawn like you spawn respawn actually it changed my spawn point which kinda sucked but um, it used to before the update you would spawn on top and be okay but they would spawn in the middle of the block and fall through and I thought they would die but they didn't because they don't take cactus or fall damage so it was useless and it ruined my spawn point so I spawn in the wall and then immediately teleport to the roof so that's no fun but oh well yeah what other thing I wanted to talk about which is kind of oh I supposed to take the paths well wow, I I am get so distracted I really gotta work on that the last thing I wanted to talk about, which is kind of a touchy subject, is comments. Specifically, two kinds of comments. Um, I get a lot of comments saying two things. Number one, how do I download a map, and how do I put my map up for download? Um, those are okay comments. Like, if you say, hey, do you have a video on how to do this? I'm, I, I usually, sometimes I'm not able to answer those, because they just get washed out by comments from my newer videos. Uh, but if I do, I, I'm like, I don't mind getting those comments at all, comments at all, it's fine. But the comments that bug me are comments like, hey, I watch all of your videos, can you please, please, please make a tutorial on how to download a map or how to put a map up for download? And those just make me mad because you want me to do something for you and then you lie to me. How I know you lied to me is because I have a tutorial on both of those. So you don't watch all my videos. So you lied. Um... So yeah, that, that just bugs me. And then also, people who repeatedly uh, say, hey, come check out my channel. Hey, come check out my channel. Um, I understand you. When I started YouTube, I got like five views on each video. I remember I was so happy because in 24 hours, I got 24 views. And that was like the most I ever got. Um, but yeah, the that's not how you get started I got started by making friends online because I don't have any friends in real life um, actually through text plus I met a lot of cool people and they helped me out so I actually had a su subscriber base of about 24 just from people I knew that I'm like I'll subscribe to you if you su subscribe to me not just going to random people's videos and saying if you subscribe to me I'll subscribe to you uh, <clears throat> my throat hurts after all those S's <clears throat> sorry and um yeah, that's how I got started, but you may get views from that, but you're not going to get any, like, good subscribers. No one wants that. Um, so, yeah, that's, it, it does bug me, and um, I know a lot of you do that, but you watch my videos. That doesn't bug me as much. It's the people that just randomly come to my channel and say, hey, check out my channel. So, what I'm going to do 
is next video if anyone says that I'm going to ban them because I'll know they don't watch my videos right so uh, if you watch my videos you'll know that and you won't say that next video and if you don't you might say that and I'll know and I can ban you because I just want to reduce the numbers a bit but yeah hopefully I didn't offend anyone I say that after I just probably lost 20 subscribers um, but yeah also, at the time of this video, I believe I would have, well, when I'm recording it, I have 499 subscribers. So, when I upload it, I'll probably have 500. That's amazing. 500 subscribers in, like, um, four or five months, I believe. I, I should ha actually check. Um, but my goal is to get 1,000 by the end of the year, and that'd be pretty awesome. So there's still five months left. So, um, I'm getting subscribers at a pretty good pace now, so that should be probably be a reality that'd be amazing thank you all for your support so far i uh, hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching uk spy out